Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's back. 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome Basketball is back. Four box random letter break number 55 from a fresh case. You can see that the next one's already loaded up and we're still doing that same uh, four free spot giveaway as well. So take advantage of that. There it is, fresh case right there. And big thanks to Nathan with all the spots. Appreciate that, thank you and good luck. Here on a Thursday, my Friday. And you know who that's gonna, not only does that make me happy because I don't have to run a randomizer or anything like that, that also makes our sorting and uh, our sorting and shipping team very happy because uh, they don't have to sort anything out. out of my inventory system here. All right, and let's pop this case open. Let's see which four boxes we're gonna do. So we're gonna shave two boxes off that stack right there, another two right here. Now we've got three stacks of four. Let's roll the die. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it's one, so we'll do that side right there. And these we will save for next time. Thanks, Nathan. Once again, appreciate it. Fresh case. So everything and anything is possible. Hope springs eternal when we're popping open a fresh case. Now the great thing is, is that we now know where all of these players are. Some some players I think are still are doing another year in college and but should be top picks the following year. Um, and there's some uh, some some women in here who should be most of these women should be drafted into the WNBA at some point. So this this might end up being a pretty nice little set here. Obviously, chasing Victor Wembanyama's, Kaylin Clark as well, but. Brandon Miller's in the mix, Scoot Thompson, Scoot Henderson, the Thompson Twins, Anthony Black, we've seen a lot of, Jerace Walker, Jet Howard. So we've got all, all that to look forward to, and more, hopefully, in these four boxes. There's a guy in here, I'll, I'll point him out if I see his name, but there's a player in here who we've seen kind of a lot of. And I think he's wearing like a nondescript jersey or something like that. We'll, we'll see him. But I was, you know, just doing my usual reading and research on, on, on this, on these sort of players, basketball players, and I think he's supposed to be you know, maybe a, a top five pick next season. Let's see if we can find him. Mr. Ace Walker. Remember the purple shimmers are not numbered, but all cards ship. There's Tyrese Proctor. Was he drafted? No, I don't think so. Yeah. 
There's Jeremy Roche to 299. Zach Eady's supposed to be one of the bigger names in next year's draft. It's Chris Murray, Keegan's brother. Should be one more auto in here. Is this it? No, but it's Mini Diamonds, Vincent Iwuchu, Iwuchupu, 301 out of 399. There's Brandon Murray. Ninety six out of four ninety nine. No, I don't think Brandon Murray was drafted either. All right, and that was the first box, Nathan. Next box. And next four box break in the store. I think a couple spots snapped up already. Buy a full spot, chance to win a full spot. Summer League coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Never been to a Summer League, going for the first time this year. Coincidentally, I had some family in town, back where my parents now live in Las Vegas. So it worked out nice, though. I was like, hey, spend an, spend an evening watching some basketball. Some live basketball would be nice. I'll scout out all these future stars. Come back with a scouting report. This guy. All right, Mattis Buzelis. I think a lot of people are talking about him being like the number one pick in next year's draft. So someone to someone to look out for next year. All right, number eleven on the ESPN Top One Hundred. Et cetera, et cetera. So a player to kind of keep an eye on throughout the year. Here is Caroline Ducharme, 97 out of 199. Blue Ray Wave. Chance Westry, there's Caitlin Clark. Jared McCain. And Race Thompson. I do not think he was drafted, I don't remember. No. And that's to one ninety nine. MJ 
Jay Rice, Drew Tine, Chet Howard, Anthony Black to 150. Anthony Black was a top six pick. He was the sixth pick, Orlando. And Brandon Murray. Another Brandon Murray autograph. All right, couple boxes in, couple boxes to go. All right, let's see, let's see some fireworks here for Nathan, who bought all the spots. Good luck again, Nathan. Thank you for grabbing all the spots. Everyone else, we've got more of this in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Go get it. I guess a uh, big NBA news of the day. James Harden opts in, and the Sixers are exploring a trade. Now, one of the local sports talk radio hosts here in Los Angeles, who also does play-by-play, -play, radio play-by-play -play for the Lakers, has allegedly talked to some people, has heard from some uh, NBA insiders, that the Clippers are a strong possibility for making a deal with the Sixers to bring James Harden to Los Angeles. Porzingis says, quote, easy call coming to contending Celtics. Saying all the right things, of course. Bradley Beal also saying all the right things. Rejuvenated, he says, after joining the New Look Suns. Rockets pick up the team option on forward Martin. Nix's Nick's heart exercises the $12.9 million option. My Lakers parting ways with Mo Bamba and Malik Beasley. I think they're making room making room to, uh, to bring in Bruce Brown Jr. from Denver. And they like his defensive tenaciousness. Some good outside shooting there as well. Nice. And, and they're, they're pretty much locks to sign Rui Hachimura and Austin Reeves. It's a pretty solid team there. They have not ruled out the possibility of bringing Mo Bamba or Malik Beasley back. And I think uh, they might even sign D'Angelo Russell. I think they're trying to bring pretty much a bulk of the team back. Jared Vanderbilt has already been has already opted in, I think. It's Caleb Love, purple mini diamonds to 199. So it's a pretty good Lakers team. I'd like to see what that team does throughout the course of a, the entire season together. It's a lot deeper team, and that should be able to give you know an older LeBron James some some time off. There's Drew Timme, Timme, and of course, the inevitable Anthony Davis injury will happen, but they'll be better equipped to absorb that. Hopefully, he, you know, when they all stay healthy for the playoffs, they could make a run. They'll have to also count on maybe, maybe some teams in the West not doing as well. Maybe the Nuggets, the little championship hangover. A lot has to go right, but it's definitely a, a better team to watch than what that team, what that Lakers team was. Hey, there's Mata Matas Bozelis. We're just talking about him potentially being a top pick next year. So stick this in a drawer.
take that Bowman first autograph in a drawer, Nathan, and uh, dig it out in about 11 months. Another Caitlin Clark. Let's see if we can find some parallels for her. And we got Mark Mitchell. Green Shimmer, 7 out of 99. That's right, Drew Timmy. There's Brandon Miller. We'll see, this will be a fun storyline to track for years to come. Should the, should the Horns have taken Brandon Miller like they did, or should they have taken Scoot Henderson? It'll be a fun compare and contrast for many years to come. Did, did Drew Timmy? get drafted or is he is he going back no I don't I don't think he got drafted Yeah, I mean, he's, I think he declared for the, oh yeah, I think he was a senior. I think he was done. He looked pretty good in the tournament, set some records for Gonzaga. But no one's picking him up, 6'10", 235 pounder. I guess, I guess it was not a surprise that he was, I don't know, according to Sports Illustrated, Julian Swath, Stroth, Straw, Strother being drafted in the first round of the 2023 NBA draft was a surprise, says uh, Dan DeCal from Sports Illustrated. Drew Timmy going undrafted wasn't a surprise. Despite an incredible collegiate career, he's not listed in most mock drafts and is widely expected to latch on with the NBA as an, uh, as an undrafted free agent. Okay. Oh, he's with the Bucks. it looks like. He signed, I don't know what an Exhibit 10 contract is, but he signed an Exhibit 10 contract with the Bucks, and will have an opportunity to prove himself during the summer league. I might see him in. All right, so maybe he'll, he'll emerge, emerge from, the, uh, from the summer league ranks. Basketball fans, if you've got uh, some random... Random rookie cards from like and autos and stuff from the like the last couple years, including this year and last year. Follow the summer league because I've we've definitely seen many summers where um, I've seen many summers where a player will do well in summer league and that gets the hype train going, and we've seen uh, that's a good. Uh, sell high opportunity there so just something to keep keep an eye out for we usually see one or two players each year that that just lights it up in the summer league because it's usually it's easy it's either rookie or second year players are generally in summer league so even some random players from last year you can kind of bust out some of those guys and if they have a, one of those players has a hot summer league campaign it's usually a good thing. Nice little number here with Sear Bolton. It's out of 10. And I don't think he was drafted. 6'3", 185. Yeah, he spent a year in Gonzaga too. Now it looks like he's not attached with any teams at the moment. It's nine out of ten. Not, not too much recent news on him either.
And there's Colin Chandler. Let's look at his autograph, Colin Chandler. What's he up to? Oh, he's on he's on his mission. So we'll see him in a couple of years. All right. Can we finish big here? Here's a Caleb Love, 67 out of 399, purple mini diamonds. Uh, exhibit 10 con. Thank you, Jen. According to Google, says Jen, an Exhibit 10 contract, it's a one year minimum sal NBA salary and allows the franchise to convert the contract to a two way contract. Okay. Uh, There's Lakers, Jalen Hood, Shafino. Oh, I think we're going to end with a good one here. Nice. That's Juwan Howard's kid, Jet Howard. Jet. Jawan Howard's kid was drafted in the top half of the draft? Yeah, he was pick 11. A small forward out of Michigan, 6'8", 215. That's a good size. And with the Orlando Magic. 27 out of 50. They're, they're collecting. They have got a good collection of youngsters on that on that a uh, on that Orlando team, if it, if that all clicks, could be a really exciting team. And there's the Invicta, Caitlin Clark. There you go, Nathan. Thanks very much for getting in on the action. I think we ended on a nice note there, right? Future number one, number eleven pick. Oh, so no, no Wembenyama, but, you know, we'll keep chasing him next time. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone else, for watching. Appreciate you. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.